Today's agenda, we will be introducing Ingmar Medical as a partner in collaboration with Laredal Medical. We will go over how the ASL 5000 works, jump into the Leap software and overview how the software plugin works, and then we'll finish with some live patient ventilator interaction. Anytime you have questions, please pop into that chat function and type your questions. We'll be happy to address them at the end and include any kind of comments or feedback you have as well. Thank you. Quick introduction into Ingmar Medical. We have been around for 26 years, headquartered in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we are respiratory simulation specialists. So our mission here at Ingmar Medical is to better patient outcomes for those supported by respiratory devices. And we help to do that um, by providing educators with the, the tools that they need to provide hands-on training and, and then provide competent learners. In the future, we do, help, we do hope that mechanical ventilation simulation becomes the standard for training clinicians. And we have partnered with Laredal to add the ASL 5000 to their products. So you'll see in this picture the ASL 5000 lung solution sitting with an intubated sim man on the ventilator. And that's what we will be reviewing today. The lung solution is currently compatible with the mannequins listed on the screen here. So you'll see um, if you haven't been familiar with the lung solution, we've uh, really added to this list. So um, in addition to the Simman 3G, the Simman Essential or Essential Bleeding, and the Simman 3G Trauma, we are now compatible with the new Sim Baby, the Simman ALS, and the Nursing and Simulator. So any of these mannequins you may have or may be considering, and all of these can be integrated with the ASL 5000 lung solution for hands-on ventilation training. All right, up next, I'm going to play a video for you and talk over it while it's playing so we can get an understanding of how the ASL works. So this is the ASL 5000 breathing simulator. And um, unlike most test lungs, uh, the ASL 5000 is an active servo lung that simulates respiratory mechanics via a piston moving inside of a cylinder. So there, it's not your typical test lung with a bag or a bellow. You don't have to mechanically change resistance or compliance. This is a piston driven breathing simulator controlled by software. And it is so precise, accurate, and durable that most major respiratory equipment manufacturers use the ASL 5000 for their device development and testing. But due to its accuracy, it has become a very popular solution for educators like you looking to provide ventilation training. So now educators can use their own real ventilators with the ASL 5000 and simulate interactions indistinguishable from a real patient. Now you as the instructor would control the ASL 5000 with a software program, in this case being LEAP, and that will allow for limitless adjustments on the patient's respiratory mechanics. Simulate a spontaneously breathing patient with inhaled and exhaled tidal volumes. And so you can envision that front port of the ASL 5000 that you see breathing on the screen there as the patient's mouth. Now, when you want to place the patient on ventilator support, you will connect the ventilator's patient circuit to the front of that ASL 5000. The instructor here is now controlling the ASL 5000 via the software, in this case, LEAP, and they also control the, the vital signs that are displayed to the learner on the patient monitor. And you'll see the learner enters and is using a real ventilator and the patient monitor to diagnose and make any treatment decisions. Now we connect to the ventilator to the ASL 5000 directly on that front port is one way to do it. And now the ventilator is supporting our patient and the patient, the ASL 5000 is providing those inhaled and exhaled tidal volumes to the ventilator. And you'll see that that airflow there is bi-directional. 
And then when you want to integrate a compatible mannequin, such as a SimMan 3G, a SimBaby, SimMan ALS, Nursing Anne, this, uh, you can add it into this system to add haptics and create a more comprehensive learning environment. And you use this exactly as we spoke about before. So the patient's breaths are rooted from the ASL 5000 through a circuit connected to the mannequin, through the mannequin and out of the mannequin's mouth. So you'll see the mannequin is breathing on room air there and he's taking in the tidal volumes and exhaling them out. So if you put your hand over the mannequin's mouth with a spontaneously breathing patient running, you will be able to feel those exhaled tidal volumes. Then intubate the mannequin and connect your ventilator circuit to the mannequin's ET tube. And you can see that airflow is bi-directional once again between the ASL 5000 and the ventilator. A couple more points about the ASL. It accommodates the full scope of ventilation devices. So nasal cannula to non-rebreather, BiPAP, CPAP, bag valve mask, and of course, mechanical ventilation. And we've discussed all of the compatible mannequins as well. So hopefully that video gave you a, a good look at how the ASL works and integrates with the ASL 5000 or with the compatible mannequin. So what I was showing you was the ASL 5000 lung solution plugin as part of the Leap software. And um, when you open up your windows here, you can see I now have access to six new windows. And these come with the ASL 5000 plugin. And I also have a, a layout here that's called Ingmar Default, and that's what I have loaded right now. It just helps me um, be able to see all of my ASL windows and bring them to the forefront. But as you're familiar with the Leap software, you are able to arrange those windows and drag and drop them as you would please. So right now I'm going to show you the quick choice menu, which is just a, a patient library in a carousel really. So you bring the patient condition you'd like to the front and hit apply and you will see my pressures, flows, and volumes here reflected on my ASL monitor. So the ASL monitor is a great tool for you as the instructor to reference during the simulation. Um, it's not something really meant for the learner to see, but it should be similar to what you're seeing on your ventilator, but you'll also get to see your patient's muscle pressure here, which is not typically uh, seen. So this is really helpful to have um, as the instructor so you can see what's going on with your patient's mechanics during the simulation. And I'll be referring to this a lot. So as the, um, as the scenario progresses or as I ch make changes to the lung model, you'll see the changes reflected here in this ASL monitor. So just keep an eye on that. So let me bring um, the other patient conditions here to the forefront. Um, I am connected with a SimMan 3G right now. So I have the adult options, which are asthma, ARDS, COPD, and interstitial lung disease. If I was connected to the Sim baby, I would actually have a normal healthy baby, as well as options to do RSV, respiratory sinusoidal virus, and BPD, bronchopulmonary dysplasia. So those would be my patient options within my carousel if I was connected to the Sim baby. So I'm going to pull up ARDS and hit apply and you'll see my uh, waveforms change here, my pressure flow and volume waveforms of the patient to a mild ARDS. And at any time I can begin making changes to my patient. So I can adjust my lung parameters being my resistance and compliance. And it's as easy as uh, dragging and dropping a tool and you'll see the changes happen in my ASL monitor. And ideally as the instructor, now you would be um, you know, running this with your ventilator and trying to get the interaction that you would like to see on the ventilator. So it's a little back and forth between adjusting the patient and adjusting the ventilator settings. But you have the widest range of resistance and compliance to use. And again, that is eight to 150 centimeters per liter per second for our resistance. And for our compliance, you have anywhere from 0 0.5 to 250 milliliters per centimeter of water. Lastly here is the breath effort control. So we do have the option to adjust how hard our patient is working to breathe or our muscle pressure and how fast they're breathing breaths per minute. 
and you'll see my waveforms change there as I adjusted. So for my muscle pressure, I'm able to select anywhere from uh, zero, which would be a passive patient, all the way to negative 100 centimeters of water. And again, muscle pressure can be thought of as the work of breathing. How hard is my patient working to take a breath? And rate, breaths per minute. So anywhere from zero to 100 breaths per minute here. We do have some advanced options, but we will leave that for a more customized session for anyone who would like to see it. Now, assuming that I made all the changes that I wanted to my model and I'm getting all of the interactions that I would like to see on my ventilator, all I have to do is come back to the quick, uh, quick choice menu and hit save current model. And I have a prompt on the other screen popping up saying save custom model, so I hit save. And now if I toggle over to my custom models, I have uh, now both lung models that I've created for you. One that you saw happen and one that you didn't see happen. Again, I apologize about that. Um, anyone who doesn't have the time to stick around, we will record this and provide that to you um, with the right screen sharing options. So there we go. Um, that's a quick look at how to get started in the software as well as how to create a custom model. Um, I will now start to share my ventilator screen and show you what that looks like. I know we're running out of time here, but I will show you some quick interactions with an ARDS patient on my Draeger ventilator here. And um, then we'll open up for questions. So I'm going to pull over this screen. Can everybody see, um, you should see a standby screen of the ventilator in addition to the LEAP software. Perfect, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna take it out of standby. And right now we are running again a um, mild ARDS patient in volume control. And my tidal volume is set to 400. All right, so I just applied my ARDS mild model from the patient library. And just to let you know what the patient mechanics are for that, a mild ARDS has a resistance of 21, a compliance of 40, a muscle pressure of seven and a rate of 25. So you'll see um, I am in volume control on the Drager vent here and my tidal volume is set to 400. And with that tidal volume, I'm getting peak inspiratory pressures of around 22. We have the set rate of 12 and my patient is actually breathing at a rate of 25. We can take a look at our waveforms here. You can see a little bit of air trapping there, but not too much. Now, what I'm going to do is increase it from mild to moderate. So just using that severity slider bar, I can very easily make changes to my lung model. And you'll see the changes here happen on the ventilator. So now my peak inspiratory pressures at that same tidal volume are hovering around 29. You can see the difference in the waveforms here. And to just show you one last part, I am going to bump that up to a severe ARDS patient. You'll see the waveforms here in the ASL monitor looking pretty similar to what we see on the vent. And now you'll see my peak inspiratory pressures are up to a dangerous 40. So this was just a quick and dirty interaction of showing you how you can um, use the LEAP software to throw a custom model on or use one of our existing models and see the changes on the ventilator. This is a great exercise to do with your learners, even in a Zoom environment, if you have access to a ventilator in an ASL 5000, just to show the interactions here. Um, but if you do want to take a look at how you can run more uh, structured scenario simulations, for example, um, you know, a, a patient condition that changes over time and the learner has to, you know, take down this, take a course of, um, you know, a, a path to figure out how to resolve the patient's problems. Um, we can absolutely, absolutely show you that. So uh, I'm going to pull up my slides here. And wrap up 
just by saying that if you did want to learn more um, about the ASL 5000 Long Solution, even coordinate um, a live customized demo, it would be a very similar environment to this in which you can actually speak. Uh, you won't be muted. You can uh, speak with us, um, the Laredal Client Executive Account Manager, and maybe even someone from Ingmar. Um, we can show you some live ventilator interactions. We can discuss how you can use um, themes for really structured scenario simulations. And if you wanted to see one of those on your own, you can head to ingmarmed.com support. And we have a webinars tab there that is um, perfect for all of our lung solution webinars. And you'll be able to see, we only have webinars there that are the fully structured simulations using um, you know, a patient condition that changes over time and uses themes to integrate with the ASL 5000. So at this point, I will say, Thank you so much for joining me, and I apologize for sharing the wrong part of my screen for way too long. Um, anyone who wants the cut down recorded version, we will absolutely provide that as long as you are registered. So if you're here, you will absolutely get it. And at this point, I will open up to some questions. Okay, so we have um, a question that says, can we use the ASL, can we use the real ASL 5000 in the LEAP software without using a real simulator? And what I assume you mean by that is, can you use the ventilator connected directly to the ASL 5000 without the compatible mannequin involved? Um, and the answer is yes. So if you remember in the video that we played in the beginning, we connected the ventilator patient circuit directly to the front port of the ASL 5000 with no mannequin in between. And that is um, absolutely a way for you to demonstrate those realistic patient ventilator interactions, no mannequin necessary in between. So you can absolutely do that. Next question, is the ASL also compatible with non-invasive ventilation such as BiPAP machines? It absolutely is, great question. So any mode of ventilation, any ventilator, so um, you know, a non-invasive ventilation, a nasal cannula, BiPAP, CBAP, it is compatible with it all and it is accurate, yes. There's some questions about what ventilator I would suggest or if there is a preferred ventilator. Um, honestly, there isn't. Um, the, the greatest thing about this tool is it is indistinguishable from a real patient. So the ventilator, any ventilator that you have um, or may be getting is going to be compatible with the ASL 5000. So you don't have to worry about what, what equipment you already have or what equipment you're going to get. The ASL is compatible with any real ventilator and any mode of ventilation. Does the mannequin have chest rise that coordinates with the ventilation? That is um, yes. So the ASL 5000 breaths are linked up with the chest rise of the mannequin. If anyone has an ASL 5000 and needs assistance, it looks like John may have a question. Please contact support at ingmarmed.com. As far as training on APRV and using high pressures and volumes, absolutely. Um, so any mode of ventilation is compatible. Uh, you won't have to worry about running out of room with uh, pressures or volumes. The uh, ASL is 2.7 liters. So you won't have to worry about um, using anything like PEEP over 20 centimeters of water, for example. Okay, I see all the contact me's coming in. So thanks so much, guys. Um, I will take all of the questions that I did not answer offline. And anyone who types in contact me in the chat, I will absolutely send you over to a product specialist for more information. Thanks again so much for your time today.